hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video we're going to be learning how to make a yoke dress so this video is all about patterns pattern making so stay tuned and let's get right into the video enjoy for materials needed you're going to need craft paper or pattern paper you're going to need a french curve and a ruler and measuring tape and a pencil Here I'm just measuring one inch from the edge of the pattern just for my shoulder line and my center front line. I like nice clean straight edges. So now I'm just drawing my shoulder line and my center front line. On your shoulder line, put in your shoulder measurement divided by two and then put in your neck width as well. So I used four inches for my neck width. For the neck depth, I used four inches. After that, just go ahead and use your French curve to draw your neckline. From your shoulder measurements, go down by one inch and connect it to your neck like so with a ruler. That's your shoulder slope. Next, put in your shoulder to bust measurement. And then draw a straight line. Label that line bust. So we're going to do the same thing for the waist. So put in your shoulder to waist measurement, draw a line and label it also. Now let's draw the armhole curve. Draw a straight line from your shoulder measurement to your bust line. Then take the midpoint of that line. Then from the midpoint, go in by 0.5 or 0.75 inches. If you have a small bust size, go in by 0.5. But if you have bigger bust size, going by 0.75 inches next put in your bust measurement divided by four on your bust line then connect from the tip of your shoulder to the midpoint to your bust measurement on your bust line so connect three points together with the French curve now it's time to draw the princess dot so from that midpoint mark it on your armhole curve Go down by one inch. Then on your bust line, put in your bust point measurements divided by two. So that's your nipple to nipple measurements divided by two. Then connect both points together with a straight line. Now on this line, you're going to go up by one inch. Then on both sides of the line on your armhole curve, you're going to mark 0 0.5 inches.
and draw your dart legs so blend it to the bottom of that line now that we've drawn our darts we're going to be extending that bottom line and drawing a new armhole so extend that bottom line by one inch so we're extending it because once we sew this dart close, it's going to come up shorter. So if we don't extend it and create a new armhole, your clothes will fit right. So from that extended point, you're going to draw a new curve. So from that point to your bust line, use a French curve. So now I'm just adding one inch to my bust line. So this is going to account for that one inch I took uh, for the darts now it's time to draw your waist darts so put in your bust point to bust point measurement divided by two and then connect it to the bust line with a straight line at the top of that line come down by two inches on your waistline mark half an inch on both sides of the line now just draw your dart legs put in your waist measurement on your waistline remember to add one extra inch to account for the dart connect your bust line to your waistline with a straight line Grab your French curve and join the distance between your waist dart to your armhole dart with a curved line like so. Now add one inch allowance to your bust line and your waist line. Add one inch at the bottom of your waist line as well. So these are your sewing allowances. So now it's time for the yoke. From your shoulder measurement, measure five and a half inches down. So mine was five and a half inches, but you can decide if you want yours lower or higher. It's up to you. So just draw a straight line and we're all done with the front pattern. So this is what yours should look like when you're done and then let's move on to the back 
so as usual i'm just drawing a straight line so that's going to be my starting point now i'm going to take one inch for my zipper allowance so from that starting point that starting line mark one inch away from it and that will be your zipper allowance shoulder line put in the 4 by 8 inches so this measurement is the same as what we used for the front and now draw your shoulder slope so we're going to do everything we did on the first pattern we're going to do it on the back draw your bust line and draw your waistline as well Hey guys, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Please, please subscribe, like this video and check out my other videos. I have many more sewing tutorials and I have more videos coming up. And please also follow us on Instagram. Tag us if you try any of these projects. And yeah, thank you. So here I'm just marking my shoulder to waist measurement and I'm also putting in that one inch sewing allowance at the bottom as well draw a straight line from your shoulder measurements to your bust line Moving on to your neckline, mark how low you want your back neckline to be. So I used four and a half inches for mine. Now connect it with your French curve. Notice mine looks kind of like a V, but it's a rounded V. Put in your bust measurements divided by four on your bust line. Now take the midpoint of your armhole curve, then draw your back armhole curve by connecting that midpoint to your bust point using a French curve. Now it's time to draw the yoke for the back. So from the shoulder line, mark that five and a half inches. So the same measurements we used on the front, we're going to use it for the back. Now just draw your dots like we did in the front but the only difference is you're not going to go down by 2 inches at the bust point. You're going to leave it as it is. Now put in your waist measurement, um, put in the one inch for the darts, put in your one inch allowance, put in everything you need and then that's it. So one last thing, we have to account for the zip bulge. So from your waistline, go in by one inch and using your ruler, connect it to the existing line like so. Now from that new line, measure one inch away from it and that's your new zip allowance.
guys that's it for this video i'm going to actually be making a dress using this pattern on the next video so please check out my video on how to make a pencil skirt pattern because i'm going to be using that pattern as well as my basic sleeve pattern so check the description box below for those videos and i'll see you in my next video thank you bye